Modest Lifestyle, welcome back to the channel. This is a reaction video. Who made it to the table? You and I, we are here. We're back like we never left. Lazy people everywhere. Quick reminder if you love me, love you back. I love you with the whip. I love you back to back. Mm -mm. Backpackers everywhere. Lazy people everywhere. Where are we? Of course, we are very much around Kenya. One leg, another leg is in Jamaica. <laughs> Who do we have here today apart from you and I? Have you grabbed something? Grab whatever that is grabbable. I got my bottle of water here. Grab yours, sharp, sharp. We've got no time to waste time. Can we bring the backpackers? Well, of course, Coco Mama of the Most High. We are always here. You and I, we gallant. We die here. The Kengas are missing in action. Hey, three days, I'm like, Coco Mama, what is going on here? Why is this guy not giving us our bread and butter? Why? Why no action? Because if there's no action, we don't have reaction here. So you guys should better go check on the Kengas and find out what is going on there. Because I was even on IG scanning up and down. All I found was Mr. Kenga doing one kind IG post that I don't understand. As if he was throwing shade at his woman. As if he was indirectly telling his woman, I will never ask you for affection. I will never beg you for affection. Overthinking will not finish us. Underthinking doesn't help us here. What do you mean? You guys should leave me alone. On a more serious note, I don't want to, I don't want to. Leave me in my small corner. Hey, of course, Shona Arwa is on this step. Finally, she made it to Kenya. <laughs> Come and see confusion. I'm not, I'm not alone. A lot of us thought that her husband was in London because she flew directly to London. Getting to London, we expected her husband to welcome her. According to her, she was even ranting and complaining. Why complaining? Must your man welcome you, Mrs. Shana Arwa? Is there something you need to let us know? Why are you complaining? Like, Yanni, it's not a must. All this uh, standard thing, you know, how people would think that, okay, your man must show you affection on camera. Your man must hug you, kiss you one million times. To me, it's rubbish. To me, it's BS because it's not even actually how a man treats you right in front of all of us that matter. What matters is off camera. How do you guys cope? How do you guys manage each other? How do you guys respect each other? Forget about what we see on camera. Eh? One minute scene cannot you know determine what happens the whole 24 hours we you and i we know this already yani i wouldn't be surprised if i didn't see her husband even welcoming her in nairobi but anyway i did not understand that i thought her husband was in london and her sister with her son was in kenya but from what i'm understanding now her husband came down to help look after their baby of course <laughs> You're from Zim? Guess where I'm from? Where you from? Guess. That's what I said. Guess. No, no, no. No. She, she's from here. He, here where? We're in the sky. Yeah, no, no. From no, no. Utopia. You're probably from, uh, you're from South Africa. And here. Where's the rice? And here. Uh, so this is the beef that he's preparing for her. And also he bought her rice. Yeah, so today we are eating good. We are eating good, guys. <laughs> Hello, guys, yet again. It's uh, me. We are done preparing. Personally, I'm done. The baby is done. Shiro is done. So we're just waiting for Sean's husband to finish with the cooking. And then he gets ready, then we go. Currently, I want to go to town to get her some flowers, you know. Like just a little welcome back flowers, okay? My heart was so full. And I genuinely thought that this was it. I thought this was going to be it and we're just going to get my baby and go home. I didn't know that I was just in for a rude shock. Guys, to think that I have been complaining to you guys throughout when I was in London, saying, oh, this man, oh, this man. And to be fair, there was a time when I was really complaining. I had to even cut out some clips while, while I was editing. But anyway, like they said, everything happens for a reason. So let's just enjoy the video. Chuma. Close to your love again, I give my heart again, Jesus. I wanna go to Galloway. Close to your love again, 
I give my heart again, Jesus. I know you know me well. I feel invisible until you tell me you're right here. I did not even know that Shana was still breastfeeding. What we go through as mothers, eh? some of this emotional torture actually, we put ourselves in it for no reason. Mm, wanna be, wanna be. I wanna be like her. Oh, this superstar, d, 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 d. you wanna be like her. You don't know that you, what she, you don't know that it doesn't work like that. You wanna be, you wanna be. You can actually be what you wanna be right there in Nairobi. Like what she said now, she's telling her audience to expect more vlogs from Nairobi within and around Nairobi. It is what it is. Where is Mr. Kenge? D. D met with this Cameroon family. Are they from Cameroon? No, I don't understand. She's meeting a whole lot of young, young, aspiring YouTubers, Jamaican YouTubers. This is the way it should be. Again, charity begins at home. Don't do it because you are now. Don't do this because you are an empress in Jamaica. Don't do this to prove a point that you really care and love Jamaica. No, no, no. no. I saw a comment. Someone was actually, it's not a comment. It was a reaction. Another guy was talking about, you know, the relationship he has with Sean and of course them moving to Jamaica, changing the narrative, doing what uh, <laughs> doing what Jamaican icons did. Like I was like, exactly how? How can this person be this dumb to compare these ladies? You can see that they are just there roaming around the street, eating, talking nonsense day in, day out. How can you compare these and Sean to a Jamaican Icon. I don't even want to mention their names. It's even, it's, it's even somehow for me to even bring them, like, equating them to these ladies. For real? <laughs> hey, oh, why Africans cannot? We love Africa. Jamaica and Africa should have a serious ties. Oh, this, oh, that. These guys, they still don't understand that reaction can be negative or positive. You complaining about my own reaction. What are you doing? You are exactly doing the same thing. You are condemning mine. <laughs> Why you are praising another? Have you seen how confused people are? So, you must not do because another person did. I must not do what my friend has done. My friend must not do what I have done. I must not react the way my friend reacts because we are totally different human beings with different character. You have 10 children. They don't have the same personality. They are all different. Behaving, even twins have their personalities. They might look identical, identical. They might look the same, but really they are different. So it is what it is. Sean finally made it to Kenya through Ethiopian airline. Come and see Sean showing us that the flight was almost empty you don't do stuff like this airline will freaking come for you i remember when i was on board and i was recording i was like this talking to myself yes guys finally we made it we're boarded in oh finally we have boarded we're heading down to my destination blah, blah, blah. and one flight attendant came to me and was like don't do this i said no 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 i'm on selfie mode i'm recording myself and she was like yeah you can record yourself but don't record Others. Don't show empty flight that you are in because it's a bad market to all these airlines. It will make their image look like nobody is using them. Guys, I don't know how we're going to talk this. You don't look for your own bread and butter by putting Sansan in another person's own. You understand? I don't know if my English is making sense to you guys, but if it's not making sense, manage it like that. I can't come and kill myself. English is not vegetable. English is never our mate here. Neither are we in English class here. This is what? Coco Mama's channel, not English Oxford Cambridge School. You want to learn English, you know where to go. Move to Yankee, go somewhere to Canada, go to UK. We are coming. <laughs> I saw a comment someone saying that, oh, it's like Coco Mama is on her way to Yankee. Why not if not? Hallelujah to that one. <laughs> you guys should leave me alone on a more serious note. Coco Mama. Respect yourself. Why are you like this? Where is Mr. Kenge and his woman? Let's even listen to him, his IG post. Because me, if I can't find anything on YouTube, I must get something for you guys. So, except if you guys want me to go and relax. Indicate in the comment section if you want Coco Mama to relax. Like, and you want us to go on 
early retirement. Why not? I will cook my pack my load. Otherwise, I will go somewhere and find something. I must enter the bush, look for a nice firewood to come here and cook it, cook it, yani, marinate it, slice it, make it nice. Hey, make a make a shout out to all of you guys still supporting Coco Mama, even my nonsense, my vlogs. Hey, when we post our own private things here, you guys are glued watching you know, engaging. I'm like, hey, you guys will not finish me here. So you are actually proving a point to them that we are not just here for the marrowers. We are not just here to talk bad about people. Oh, you hate me, Trudy. Why do you hate these people like this? You are so, you, why are you feeding on them? Why are you? You are proving to them that we have our own things going on here and we are cool. It's just that some days we just react. Some days we act. Coco Mama is an actor as well. Yani, <laughs> you guys have not seen anything. Guys, Mr. Kenge, I went three days. Probably before I dropped this reaction today, he must have posted. I'm not even counting on his woman because I have a feeling overthinking will not finish me here. Assumption will not kill me. You guys should leave me alone. Assumption will not kill your mama here. I have a feeling that Roro Roro is on his neck right now. Number one, she claimed that she lost her bank card. So it means that Mr. Kenge will be the only one spending. And this message that Mr. Kenge posted on his IG is indicating me. I like to read meaning into things. Yes, leave me. You, when you post even quotes from others, I believe that you post it because it's something relatable to you. It's something that you may have been going through or something that you are going through. <laughs> you understand? Hey, come and see Coco Papa's English. We are getting there now. What do you think? English is not vegetable, but we must keep chopping it and slicing it nicely. <laughs> hey, um, so me, I'm reading me into this IG post of our Kenge, Mr. Kenge. He's like, even when you are on vacation, you're thinking of work. You can't change me. This is me. I'm workaholic. I'm, I'm after my things. I'm after my money. It doesn't matter wherever I find myself. I told you I don't want to leave the village. Is it true that he's on his way back to the village? Because for three days now that he has not posted, it's possible that because of the disaster that happened in his villa. So it's possible that Mr. Kenge came, of course, to do damage control. Stuff like this is not something you hand over to someone. <laughs> and, and of course, from what we are seeing, it looks like he's not paying his workers. So his workers, they're using this disaster to cash out. You understand? They are taking advantage of this thing that happened. The Jericho, the walls of Jericho, the walls of Jericho that has fallen. They're taking advantage of it too create more contents, including even his mom. Congress mom was also there at the scene, <laughs> creating and showing us that, oh, she must be there. Hey, another collaboration with Congress mom and Jamaica uncle. Why do I look like it's so awkward? Like it's awkward. How can you tell me that Jamaica uncle for more than one month hasn't been to the men villa? I mean, Baba Marawa's men house. Is it possible? Here, our mama telling us, oh, Jamaica uncle visiting my room. Yani, before uncle, he ought to have visited you. What are you telling me? Is this one news? Thank you for coming. You're welcome. You're and welcome. Jamaican uncle has been so <laughs> grateful. I'm yeah, so man. happy to meet him. Uh, yes, yes. You see, he's here with the Congress. Okay, mommy. okay. Uh -huh. At our house. And I'll tell you something. Yes. It's a pleasure to be here. Yes. Because I've usually watch this place here on yes. video. Yes. And now I'm here um, for real, sitting yes. down <laughs> with con Congress mom. <laughs> yes, guys. Okay, so, yes. It's delicious. Very good medicine. Yes. Mm -hmm. Take up. I, I'm going to get a bag first. You want this one? Check whether it's fresh. I'm going to get a bag. Oh, you bring a bag? Yeah, and when later, I'm going to get a bag and pick and put inside here. Yes. Mm -hmm. Your son, Marwa, yes. tell us that. Yes. <laughs> he, he, he might come here and don't find nobody here because he's a very serious man. <laughs> <laughs> if you play around, he tell you to go. <laughs>
<laughs> no, he, he wants hard working people. Yes, he yes. doesn't want people to waste time. Yeah, exactly, exactly. He just wants people to work hard. Yes, yes. You guys should stop it on a more serious note. Guys, let's look at Mr. Kenge's IG post. And you tell me, I've told you what I thought about it. I feel like he was directing this message to his woman that wants to leave him. His woman that may not be happy. It's not even like she may not be happy. She's not happy at all with Mr. Kenge. We are not even happy with Mr. Kenge. Think about his woman. We are not happy with the way he's doing things. Oh, taking my woman around, showing my woman Nairobi after six months. Yani, are you kidding me? Are you drunk or something? Coco Mama, let's watch, guys. When you work, work. When you play, play. Don't mix the two. I used to take my family to the beach and I would bring my briefcase. Or at the beach, I'm saying I should be at the office, I should be at the office. Now my family's upset. Because I'm at the beach and I'm thinking office, office, office. Now when Mama said, you don't need no interception, you are perfect. Never beg for affection. Hey, <laughs> if Mr. Kenke decided to go back to the village, how do you think Ruru will look like? How do you think she will feel? Hey, she will feel terrible, terrible, terrible. But again, for someone like Mr. Kenke that loves to make money, yani, just like the drama that happened, the snatching of back that happened, you can see the view. The view started viewing immediately. Baba made over 100k views within 48 hours, <laughs> stuff like that. That is what he was. He's our drama king. You guys that think that, oh, why do these people talk about him like this? Because he's dramatic. We always have something to talk about. Okay? Whenever you see his content, you will find something meaningful to talk about. So, you understand why we are still in Kangawood. You understand? You get it. Hey, guys, guys. So, all these messages, all these IG posts, I don't get it. But anyways, this is how I feel about it. I might be actually wrong. You never can tell. Her son was welcomed by her husband, which something I feel like it was staged and arranged. Sean acted like she didn't know that her man would welcome her. Come on, come on, Sean. Hey, <laughs> you and I, we know that there's nothing like this. All these couple goes things. Forget about it. It's all purely on arrangement. You package it nicely. Act it out very well. I'm going to do it like this. Oh, what do you, tell me again how I'm going <laughs> to Hey, It was nice to see her, you know, reuniting with her family. How do I feel? I feel like she showed off her man. Mm, she was like, she was referring to someone. I don't care what some of you guys think that Oh, you guys, they are cool together. D and Sean are best friends. They are, they love each other. You guys are the ones reading meaning, useless meanings into all these things. I don't care. This is my own meaning. Read yours. You can even read yours under this video, okay? But you must not insult. You insult me, I block you. you. Insult me, I delete and I move. I don't freaking care. So I feel like Sean reuniting with her man you know, doing all this drama they did at the airport. Her man coming behind to surprise her with a flower. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, the same guy that did all this surprise, surprise. You said you edited out some of the stuff, the rants. You were complaining about him not doing what he ought to do, not behaving well, basically. You were complaining, you were ranting. Oh, what kind of a man is this? Eh? These African men are not oppression. These African men, they are not uh, just like what baby girl said. Shout out to you. Baby girl, the hell was like, I've noticed that some African, yes, not all, some African men are not affectionate. <laughs> hey, they don't know how to show affection. Some African men are not romantic. I'm going to say it, yes. Most African men are not romantic. Rather, the expect being romantic is not uh, kissing a woman hundred times like with the Jonas. Hey, <laughs> with the Jonas finally started doing his own construction. What do you think? How do you think Mabera will be left behind? See, Yabuhanze, see Mabera, they work hand in hand, they are neighbors. You get it, so you wouldn't expect the Jonas of all people not to join this 
train, you know, this moving train, building, building, building. You thinking, I've told you guys things. I've told you guys this things. You see BT drama happening with the Biggie Biggie and Biggie Biggie brother, uh, Pablo. I refuse to talk about it, especially when Baki Baki hijacked the whole thing. I washed my hands. I was like, hey, Coco Mama, mm -mm -mm -mm. to bring the onion from Baki Baki here. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Of course, she has to use this to draw attention to herself. She is also building with her sugar boy. What do you think? Anyway, as soon as this drama started, I said, didn't I tell you guys that it's all about donators? It's all about money. The fight between BT and Buki is actually because of a Donatus. Hey, Donatus that used to give three of them money. This Donatus was giving Pablo, was giving BT. Actually, the Donatus came from BT. You know, there's always that point of contact. The first person that this person reaches out to or reached out to and then extending that gesture to others. So BT is the point of contact. And of course, this Donatus was also helping Pablo here and there, you know, dropping some the big money, not even some, dropping good amount of money, mm? bulky money. You can tell. Nobody needs to tell you that the money that BT used to build that house and the pace, the fast that he used to build that house, that the money did not come from YT revenue. Nobody needs to tell you that it didn't come from YT revenue alone. The majority, in fact, 80% is from the donators, the sugar mamas here and there. May her soul rest in peace. Even our Jamaican grandma also contributed towards that house. Because that was how BT came to know that Jamaica grandma passed on. You understand? He was the first person that knew about it because he was following up with his things. Mm. Money must be what dropped. So their fight is all about money. Donatus deciding you don't have control over how someone who is somewhere working hard and making his or her money. You don't have control to tell that person how the person or who the channel, who the person supports, who the person decides not to support, who the person washes his or her hands off and be like, you know what, I'm done with these guys. Some of these Donatus, they might actually decide not to support even the main person. It's like that. They are done, yet they are done. They feel that they have done what they ought to do. Talas, finish. So, why the fight? Why the beef? Why the lies? Now, BT has done 360 degrees. He's gone back to DK. Shame on him. Guys, I've got no time to come and be cutting their clips here and be sharing it. No, 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 no. I'm just saying it because I'm passing by on a more serious note. Cora Obid is on this table, guys. Hey! Cora has been demonetized on Facebook. Cora cannot make even one dime. Cora cannot make even a sense on Facebook. YouTube, now she's doing the same mistake she did on Facebook. Now she's telling people to come over to YouTube to donate, to give her super tags, to give her stuff. You don't ask. Allow people to give if they want to. Cora Obidi, learn from these things. You can't make the same mistake over and over again. You are a superstar. You are so talented. You can make it even on your own. You can actually be a giver instead of expecting people to give you. Guys, we're talking about multi-talented young girl here. Why must she stoop so low to be begging? Why must she live on begging? This is someone that claimed that someone poured acid on her while she was in London. Do you know what is acid, guys? Acid, acid bath is very common in Africa. I don't know if this girl even understands. I cannot put a picture of someone who has, I, I wish I can put a picture of a victim of acid bath here, but I will not because I don't want this video to be flat. Do you understand? It looks bad. You look at this girl, not even one scratch. Okay, she got something on her leg, which might happen because, you know, when you are somewhere as a celebrity, your fans, some drag you, some even tear your clothes, some even scratch you. Probably she sustained that injury on her leg from a fan who tried to grab her, who tried to touch her, you know, to feel her 
something like that. You know that kind of stuff when you are in a crowd and everybody wants to have a piece of you. So you might get scratched here and there. But acid bat, Klautina is second name of Kora Obidi. Kora Obidi, stop it. Learn your lesson. You think YouTube is safe. You think coming over to YT because of your fame. Okay, now that you're no longer making money on FB, she will likely not go live on FB. So what she's going to do now, all her activities, all her shenanigans will come over to YouTube. And most Africans, they don't like to watch live stream on YT. They believe that it consumes more data. I'm talking about Africans, her fans in Africa. FB, the data consumption in FB is lesser compared to YouTube. I've not really checked on that because me, I'm 100% a YouTuber, so I, I don't freaking care. Even if I'm in Africa, I will still prefer YouTube over and over again. And plus Facebook, hey! A lot of shenanigans going on on Facebook. Information from Facebook, you believe anything you hear on Facebook, you are on your own. Uh, most of the times, eh, the Facebookers, they, they lie. They can lie like nothing else. So I don't even feel comfortable. But of course, if I don't have any choice, yeah, if I don't have any chance to be here on YT, I will pack my load somewhere to IG or even LV. What do you think? The show must do what? Continue. So let's watch Cora Obidi. I'm not earning anything on Facebook right now. It's zero dollars. So, <laughs> Athena, stop making the sound, please. So, if you are a fan of Facebook, now is the time for you to find me on YouTube. My YouTube is active. You can send me super thanks on YouTube. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Stop it, Ish. You pray, Let's make shawarma. It's called Rask Kitchen. Guys, my Facebook is completely. Athena, stop it. <laughs> my Facebook is completely restricted, guys. Completely restricted. <laughs> what? You can't send me stars. You can do anything. So, um, there has been like a. I don't know, there's been like some smear campaign going on since yesterday and my Facebook is restricted, no stars, you can't send me stars. D can copy. Guys, D is a copycat. I wouldn't believe that D will do the same hairstyle that Sean is currently having. Hey! Even if you want to copy, at least let's see, don't make it so obvious. Don't make it pronounced like this. Like, you can tell that you are, I mean, of all hairstyles, you got no other one to do except the same hairstyle that Shona did. Who wore it better? Okay, since that's what she wants, she wants us to compare. Who wore it better? Drop it to the comment section and let me know. Me, I don't want to say anything here. Hey, because if I say, they will say, oh, it's expected. You hate, I don't know why this old woman she hates this so much i'm not gonna say that d has not done be dead hairstyle like this before she has done it but to do exactly what your best friend did at the same time and she's still wearing it somehow d respect yourself dress well d can somebody let you understand these things you dress according to the occasion you dress for the season you can be invited by a couple someone's husband you are almost naked that's why this woman the cameroon family this woman was not giving in at all she was not giving face to d at all she was d was all by herself and of course you know they were throwing shades at each other insulting each other at the supermarket you remember last time d was in jamaica at the supermarket d was touching touching even grabbing the panty of you know right there in the supermarket Kino was cool with it. Kino was just shying away from the camera, but was cool. This time around, D tried it, and Kino pushed her hand off. Hey, you see this breakup already is happening. D has left Jamaica. According to her, she's coming back. Let's watch her. See you, see you. Me soon be back. Take care. That is it. Yeah, and and tell my friend, me soon be back. D said. By mm -hmm. the one in the shop, okay. All right, that's yes, it. Yes, yes, yes. That is it. Well, chef, 
A place. Hey, I have to say hello to my baby. Oh my gosh, time. Yeah. Let's just go. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what is his name? Run out of bread. Run out of bread? Yeah. That is his name? Yeah. Yeah, it's now time to join Liverpool. You know what time hey, it is. It. You know what time it is. You see, it's, it's, it's just broke. Because of you know what because time it is. It's Liverpool time. <laughs> this is beautiful. <laughs> All right, welcome to Kamana Bay. This country is so beautiful. I don't know what to say, guys. Let me get something oh, right here so that we can go. And also, I think they need a passport for the registration. Yeah. So yeah, I need. Or ID. Yeah. yeah, or ID. So I need to carry those things. All right, guys. Kamana Island. Welcome to Kamana Bay. It tells me it's such a good place to hang out and chill. And it's warm, 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 more than Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no rivers, no mountains. All we have right. People. Yeah? Yeah, we have lovely people. You have lovely people, no rivers and mountains. Thank you. She left with Akino. Meanwhile, a few days ago, they were asking us, confused.com. The other day, they were talking about traveling together. Now, D is jetting out all by herself. So, which one is which one? Let's watch D and this Cameroon family. <laughs> D was not giving in at all, complaining, 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 wanting more, wanting more Esther. You can tell that Esther was the one doing the cooking. Why D was there showing and rubbing her bum bum, throwing herself everywhere. To a married person, mm, must you do this? She's collaborating with young, young, upcoming YouTubers from Jamaica. It's a good thing. Will she do this back home in Kenya? Never. She wants 300 USD. That 300 figure that she mentioned, she did it to block people that are on her DM asking for collaboration. You and I, we know. She didn't come to 30 days party of her brother because of the same thing. Because she knew that a lot of people would want her to collaborate with them. Okay? So she blocked that one. Now she's in Jamaica meeting all these small, small YouTubers, which is a good thing. But will she do this back home? No, she's doing it to impress. Empress to impress. <laughs> hey, she's doing it to prove a point that she truly, truly loves Jamaica. Love Jamaica as much as you can love Jamaica, but don't rubbish your country. Because that's what she's doing. She's rubbishing her country. Because guess what? There's no country without any challenges. There's no country without dark side. Okay? So this is the thing. You can't be saying, oh, I love Jamaica, I love the world, because you want to use the Jamaicans. The Jamaican audience, they are on your side. You can tell that the traffic, the love, you're getting all this attention. Everybody calls you empress. Everybody wants to marry you. And yet, we've not even chosen one person. Hey, I love the way Sean is showing off a uh, Nigerian man. Hey, me, I feel like um, it's not necessary, Yanni. For her to do that. I feel like she should have come straight. If there's something that happened between her and her friend, she should have addressed it and come straight. Why crying? Hmm? That cry that she's crying, to me, I'm gonna read meaning again to it. She's crying because when she saw, when she heard her baby, she was crying. Why did I even make this mistake? Why did I spend so much money? Sean, what happened to your business class? Uh, I thought you guys have decided in this 2024 that all you're going to do is to be flying business class, even D. What is going on? You upgrade your downsize. No, 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 no. When, once you are up, stay up. You understand? I leave those of us that are down. Let us remain where we are. We don't want to. We are looking up that you are up already. All of a sudden, you are down. Again, you want to climb up. Confusion is not good. Shan, Shan is crying not because of anything. She's crying because she's regretting the mistakes she has made. She's regretting taking this kind of nonsense decision. Would she want to come back to Jamaica? Of course. She would want to come back to Jamaica, but not with D. Like, yeah, I mean, she wouldn't want to come to Jamaica and collaborate. I even meet D for a minute. What happened to Coco Girl? As soon as D and Coco Girl came together in Jamaica, come and see LZ. Because Madame wants all the attention by herself. 
Madame wants to be the star. And the moment she's not getting that attention, either from her audience or the person that is with her, the person's audience, if she's not getting all that, she has a problem with you. Hey. And the way she was even interrupting, shout out to you, one of Lazy Gang noted that, that she kept interrupting Sean. Sean wanted to say something about solar eclipse. <clears throat> D interrupted her, threw her up. I was like, oh, we are on our way to the airport. Go catch your flight. No, 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 no. Then off to go enjoy herself. Mm -hmm. So if Shona comes back to Jamaica, Shona will come all by herself. Did her doing stuff with D work on her channel? 110%. It worked. And it's still working for her. Because of her likable personality, you understand? One thing is, when you get exposure, I mean, when you meet a big fish and the person shares her audience with you, okay, getting that exposure is good. But retaining it is the problem. Now, once you get this exposure and people check you out and what they see is what they like, of course, they will stay. But if you get the exposure, then I'm coming over to you they are not feeling you. They can't vibe with you. They will disappear like air. Mm -hmm. This is the truth. There's no point coming here to sugarcoat. So it's working for Sean because on her own, even on IG, she's big. On her own, she's a vibe. I feel like it's just that D is an opportunist. D, it just worked for D. Not that there's something spectacular about her. Not that there's something special that she's doing that another person cannot do or a smaller YouTuber is not doing. Smaller YouTuber can even be doing better than her. Like the way people are saying that, oh, she is promoting Africa. Layani promoting Africa by being naked always. Does she dress like this back home in Kenya? How? You meet up with someone, a couple, you are naked. Throwing your bomb bomb like jelly. You think you are the only person that got body. So, do you supposed to understand how these things work? When a couple invites you, dress up. Look at Esther. Even if you are at the beach. Meanwhile, they were in the bush cooking. I'm gonna let you guys see this clip. Let's go, 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 go. Give me the plate. Give me the plate. Give me the plate. Guys, give us a 10 out of 10 minus everything. Zero. That's a plant. Yes, I have to get half this. So, do you want a second round? You get half that. This is what they sell. Yeah, man. You have, wow. you, have, you have manually file but just to find it. Just to get this. Just to get this. So that they can give babies. Mm -hmm. this it's is true a, or you guys are joking? <laughs> no, this is a muscle. It's true. Yeah, man. Remember seafood? It's a muscle. Huh? It's a muscle. Okay. Alright, so here a cup bigger. So we can throw it now this. We can hold more mm -hmm. sauce. Mm -hmm. So that's how we look fine. The bigger cup. The bigger cup. We can hold more sauce. Hey, and I can't believe can. now I have another far right food on the back. After that, hey. you just drink this. Just mm. swallow it. That is it. You want more? The wow. sauce. Wash it down. <laughs> yeah, the sauce is good. It's not yeah, salt, man. pepper. Mm -hmm. Real sauce, man. Real ice. Yeah, man. Send me over my one there. Please! So, guys, hey. this is as fresh as it can get. Yes. Yeah, man. Straight from the natural. Now, yeah, now. Just now. No. Natural, man. Mm. What an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot yeah, more. This one is so when D got to Cayman Island, okay, D left Jamaica and she was in Cayman Island and she took a taxi. At the end of the video, she was trying to convince us that this taxi driver did not collect money from her. Like, this is guilty conscience we're talking about. She's already feeling guilty that, oh, she has traded in something. You understand? Probably this taxi guy showed interest and told D, you don't have to pay. I'm going to take you around. I love you, you're a beautiful girl, and all what not, and all what not. So she wants to use it to put her ego up. She wants to use it to prove something that people gift her, people do stuff for her. This is what we are talking about. The, as you are telling us what this professional taxi driver, not a private car, as you're sharing what he has done, please share what you have done also.
Let us know what you have given in in return. Because it's what? It's give and take. You give it to me. Hey, I give it to you. Chop and do what? Clean mouth. Ask yourself, why did she travel alone? Why not with Kino? Kino is what? Hitting her. Kino is what? Kino is hammering her nicely. You know how controlling this girl can be because of her fame? <laughs> so she thinks she can control a guy because of that. She, she feels like, just like the case of JB, she did the same thing. It got to a point she told JB, resign from your work. Your mom, I have money for her to start up market business. Kino is a very wise guy. Kino is not letting D get to that level where D can manipulate and control him. D tried it first time, wanted Kino to come down to Kenya during Valentine. Kino refused. Refused, refused. He even bought, where is that necklace that D bought? D even bought Valentine gift for Kino, thinking that Kino, Kino disappointed, didn't show up. Hey, they had to confuse us and made it look like it was the Virginia's girlfriend that they bought that necklace for. Till now, where is that necklace? Of course, she has given it to him privately. Everything must not come to camera. So what are you guys not telling me here? Kino is not letting D rubbish him or even put him, you know. Kino is not letting D use him to that level. Rather, he's the one using D and making sure that everything is under control. That's why if D gives him money right in front of you and I, he's returning that, take your change. Don't come back tomorrow. <laughs> hey, you think Kino has not seen what D did to JB? Of course, he's watching everything. Kino knows that huh, in future, this girl might come back to start. She's already claiming that no man spoils her. Finally, someone is spoiling her. The taxi guy in Cayman gave her a free ride. If really, it was free. Nothing is free in this life. If you are not paying, someone is somewhere paying. If you go somewhere and you're busy grabbing everything, oh, I want that. A jello fries, I want. Give me white rice with stew. Mm, with the other one with gravy. What about with the chicken? Add beef to it. Mm, I want chicken barbecue also. What about the French fries? Add it. Mm. You're eating and eating and eating. Someone paid for it. It's not free. But the money is not coming from your pocket. You guys should leave me alone because... My tired is tired this morning. If you watched it this moment, you know who you are. You're the best. Thank you all for coming in today to support Coco Mama like you always do. Your love, your support, I appreciate all. All in all. Without you guys, like Yanni, why are we here? For real? Because of you guys, no leave, no transfer. Because of you guys, as we're coming, we're leaving. Leaving and left in like we never left. Of course, Unko. Have you liked this video? Give it to me. Please. I'm not asking you for donation, just your life. Mm. Drop it with the water for Coco Mama. Subscribe, join the family. Hey, you can't be watching and you are going. As you are joining, as you're subscribing, bring someone, introduce someone to the channel. It's free. There, nobody's charging you anything. Bring someone to the table. Tell a friend to tell a friend about Coco Mama. I'll see you all in my another one. Peace out, peace out, peace out. Bye bye. Bye guys. Brother, we gon' live forever. On the island, to the mainland, pulling up in the prima.